The theorem that we're going to prove is that all the Ramsey numbers exist. They not only exist, they can be bounded from above by a binomial coefficient. So the theorem, reading in the middle of the slide, is that the Ramsey number Rmn exists and is no more than the binomial coefficient c m plus n minus 2 choose m minus 1. All right, we're going to, it says on the slide, we're going to do that in class. Let's do it right now. It's an induction, and the induction is on the sum of m plus n. The base case is when m and n are both 2, and we've already seen that the formula works when m and n are both 2. So now we're going to look at a bigger value. So our goal is to show that R, M, N is less than or equal to the binomial coefficient C, M plus N minus 2, choose M minus 1. That's what we want to prove. And basically, the argument is exactly what we did with 6, just in a more general form. We take a vertex X, any vertex X, in a big graph, which has this many vertices. And then we split the remaining vertices into neighbors of x and the vertices which are not neighbors. Now, if there are this many vertices all together, and you take away one, you have two parts here. But remember the binomial coefficient identity. C m plus n minus 2, choose m minus 1, is the binomial coefficient m plus n minus 2, choose m minus 2, plus the binomial coefficient m plus n minus 1, choose m minus 1, uh, minus 3. That's the basic binomial coefficient identity behind the Pascal triangle. A binomial coefficient is the sum of these two, where this one reduces one of the two coordinates and the other one reduces the other. So, if all together there are that many vertices, then either, either, and this is the important word here, either there are this many here, or, or there are this many here. One of the two. Now we imply the inductive hypothesis. Since there are this many vertices here, either there's an independent set of size m, or there's a complete subgraph of size n minus 1. But if there's a complete subgraph of size n minus 1 in here, when I add x to it, I get a complete subgraph of size n. And it works exactly the same on the other half. If the size here is at least this, then either there is a clique of size n, or there's an independent set of size m minus 1. But when I add x to the independent set, here of size m minus 1, I get an independent set of size n. And so it's just using the basic binomial coefficient identity that we get the proof that the Ramsey numbers exist and behave as an upper bound like the binomial coefficients. All right, we've learned binomial coefficients can be big, but they're not nearly as big as things like double exponentials and putting factorials in the exponentials and powers, 2 to the 2 to the 2 to the 2 to the... Now, those are big. 
Binomial coefficients are not so bad. Or so you think. OK, so we, now we know the binomial, the, the Ramsey numbers exist and are bounded by these binomial coefficients of the form n plus n minus 2, choose m minus 1. 